The caravan industry can trace its origins in the journeys of gypsies and travelling showmen in Europe and England, and the great wagon train adventures of America's Wild West. In Australia, the first caravans appeared early last century, many of them homemade. While well built for their time, they were suited to the very basic needs of their occupants, way short of the expectations of today's pampered caravanners. In the 1920s, a company called Ike and Provis at Parkside began building what it called a folding flyproof caravan, although some critically viewed it as a trundling flywire clad meat safe on wheels. Records of life in an Ike and Provis caravan could easily have vanished with the passage of time had it not been for Sir Hans Heysen, one of Australia's most famous landscape artists. On many of his painting expeditions to the Flinders Ranges, Heysen travelled in an Iken Probus folding flyproof caravan, pulled along by a Model A Ford motor car. It was Heysen's humble home away from home, as he produced a torrent of sketches and watercolours, mainly in the Aruna and Akaba areas. After the last of these expeditions, the caravan was retired, and for many years it served as a canary cage. Thankfully, it has been restored and now holds pride of place at the Heysen family home at Harndorf. Barossa Valley coach builder, blacksmith and inventor Mr. G.C. Pop Kaisler is credited with building Australia's first motor caravan. This unique abode was constructed like a doll's house on a 1924 Dodge Tour at Pop Kaisler's home in Uriutpa. His second motor caravan was built in 1931 on a Dodge one-ton truck that previously had been used to transport pigs to Mount Barker. This fashionable little home took shape on the chassis complete with lead light windows, guttering on the roof and drain pipes feeding rainwater tanks fitted underneath the rear. The cottage, as Pop Kaisler called it, took the family on a 6,000 kilometre holiday to Brisbane and back. Today, it holds pride of place at the entrance of the Barossa Valley Tourist Park. Among the pathfinding caravan manufacturers in South Australia was John Alfred Jennison, who from humble beginnings in a workshop in Salisbury, went on to become a giant of the industry on a national scale. Indeed, the Jennison Pathfinder, which first hit the roads after World War II, was for many years considered the aristocrat of caravans. Jennison built his first caravan at his Salisbury garage in 1928, after being inspired by a story about caravans in an English magazine. When it was finished and towed out of the workshop at Salisbury, friends and neighbours were soon badgering him to build caravans for them. By the mid-1930s, caravanning had taken off in Australia as motor vehicles became more reliable and roads of dirt, dust and mud were increasingly tamed with concrete and bitumen. The Great Depression and the emerging popularity of the wireless led to an almost overnight decision for the Furness family's company in Edwardstown to go from making pianos to caravans. Wood presses, saws, planing, sanding and routing machines that had been used to make the pianos were swung into action by Furness Limited to make caravans the first of which was completed in 1935. Furness Limited quickly established a reputation for the strength and quality of its caravans and interior furniture and good sales followed. In 1937, the Caravan Club of South Australia formed and in December of that year, 30 caravans were on show at the club's inaugural rally at the National Park Bel Air. <laughs> 